Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Again, we are dealing with spaces. This time a bit different story. So the reason for this script is that actually we are unable to handle it over the Revit schedule. So uh, in architectural model we have a room, in MT model we have a space, and we want to read some a parameter from the rooms from architectural model and to write it uh, at some parameter uh, in our spaces. We did try to perform this with the Revit schedule but uh, we were unable to do it so we created a script and the hardest part uh, in this script is actually to recognize which space you have inside which room. And over here I did create this script in a couple of minutes and I did use custom packages in order to explain the script and afterwards I will also redo this script to use only the Python nodes in order to avoid uh, need that the user needs to install custom packages. But for you and for me to explain this script I think it is better to stick with uh, the nodes that come from the custom packages. And I want to show you this um, script on some big real world model which have around 2000 room and spaces. And why? Because over here I will try to avoid some of the issues, not enclosed rooms with redundant rooms, uh, with situation where we have a room but we do not have a space. So I did also create a couple of logic to filter out those issues. Uh, and if I just create some perfect sample file, you will not be able to handle these issues. I would have a hard time to explain these issues and later when you want to perform this script on some real world project, you will have some issues. And okay, for those nodes, uh, you have probably for each node 10 different uh, variants. I did pick the first node, which I did find with the search option. Uh, so what we want to do at the beginning is just to get all the rooms from our linked model and we can run the script. So you can see that we have 2110 rooms and now when you make uh, a request for get location and for the rooms when you want to uh, know location you should have a point. But then, uh, as I mentioned, you will have rooms which are not enclosed, resident rooms, uh, or just rooms that are just left in the project and not deleted. And now when you're asking for the location, you will have null as a value. And in order to avoid uh, later complication with setting the values and reading the values, we will immediately filter out all the rooms which for the location have null. So that is why over here we have is it null? And for example, for 52, we have true, and then we will filter out those rooms, all the rooms that are null and do not have a, a location uh, will be in this in port, and we are continuing continuing with this out port. Then we have some parameter, and for those rooms which have location, we did read that parameter. Now we need to find corresponding spaces and to set uh, these values uh, for the spaces. Uh, now, uh, what is another issue? Maybe architects forget to set some uh, values for some rooms and that is why we did have on a couple of places empty value. Okay, things like this. So we have rooms for which architects did not fill the parameter and again we do not need those rooms we want to check uh, if those rooms have the value for this parameter or not if, if they do not have a value we will also filter out them so they will be in the import and again we are continuing with outport with all rooms that have a value for that parameter and now uh, we, we could also filter this value over here, but for me it was easier just to require location once again. So far we did filter out rooms 
uh, by location and if they have or have not value for our parameter. Now uh, we need to find corresponding spaces. I did find this node from MEP over package. So Taco already created this node and we, and we will use it. Essentially what uh, this Python inside this node will do, it will find space for the point and the point is our location of the room for some phase. So this is building function inside the Revit API and this node will use it. And, it, and I think that is very efficient and very clever. Uh, other idea would be to uh, took geometry, so get geometry for room, get geometry for spaces, to try to intercept them. But uh, time-wise, that will require 10x time comparing to this node and this function. So uh, we we will take so we will take all the points that we have in the project all our rooms and spaces in this uh, new construction phase and now basically we will provide new we will provide those points we are going with this phase and now the node for each and every room will find corresponding space and we do not have a situation where for one point we have multiple spaces that is very important so uh, over here we did have 1981 uh, points and over here we have uh, the same number of values in the list it is very important to not, to not have more now on some places we have null as a value uh, which means that we have in architectural model some room but in our model we do not have space on that room and okay that should be checked and that should uh, be taken care of but okay it is what it is let's just fill uh, all those parameter values to the spaces which we have so once again we are, we are filtering this time spaces uh, with this is now condition and we also want to filter out this value and now we will have filtered spaces and filter parameter values and now for our spaces we want to fill this uh, parameter over here and it is very very simple logic and this is very efficient node um, so the only thing that i will change for this script um, and when i put it on my website i will just replace all those nodes with custom packages with the python nodes when i finish that in a couple of minutes i will uh, again open that script and i will run for this uh, same example just for you to see it and that will be it enjoy it Bye.